Okay, this equation, 5 times x is congruent to 3 modulo 11, does have a solution, but the extended Euclidean algorithm is quite lengthy for such a simple case. Then we won't use it. For small modulus numbers, we can be clever. We want x in the equation where 5 times x is the same as 3 modulo 11. So we just need a number that behaves like dividing by 5 in this modulus setting. That number is referred to as the inverse of 5 modulo 11. Ask yourself, what number times 5 gives 1 when considering multiples of 11? Let me try. 5 times 9 is 45, and 45 is 1 more than 44, which is a multiple of 11. So 9 works. Exactly. 9 is the inverse of 5 modulo 11. Now use that inverse to solve the whole thing in one smooth move. Multiply both sides of the congruence by 9, which is the inverse of 5 modulo 11. So that makes the 5 and 9 combine to act like 1 on x? Exactly. On the right side, we get 3 times 9, which is 27. Now watch the simplification. 5 times 9 is 45, which acts like 1. So we're left with just x. Then we reduce 27 modulo 11, subtract 22, and you get 5. So x is congruent to 5 modulo 11. So the answer is x congruent to 5, and we never touched that long algorithm. Yep, just spot the inverse, multiply, and you're done. Please like, share, and subscribe.